What's up YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, we're gonna talk about how to style that tweed or herringbone blazer. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern discussing various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe and tap that notification bell and join us. And to my returning friends like Jonathan Metz, salute. So let's get a little into these tweed slash herringbone blazers. Now, why am I using the terms interchangeably? Most people, including myself, do. But to be technical, the difference is tweed is the heavy fabric that the jacket is made out of. Herringbone is a specific pattern that's kind of like a V or zigzag shape. That's the technical difference. I use them interchangeably. Feel free to do so yourself. This is the Style OG channel, not the Style Snob channel. So now that we got that out of the way, let me talk to you a little bit of why I encourage you to have a heavy blazer, such as a tweed or herringbone. To me, it's a fall essential. You know when that weather starts to turn and you need to grab a blazer, but that all season wool one just isn't warm enough? Grab a tweed one instead. Now here's the thing, it's very versatile and it fits in most situations, but you can't wear it formally. It's a sporty jacket, so anything business casual or less casual than that, you're good to go. So in today's lookbook, I've got four distinct outfits wearing two different tweed blazers. One gray and one brown, showing you how well they go with anything from trousers, jeans, and chino. So without further ado, let's get into this heavy blazer lookbook. Now for our first look today, I have the dressiest look of them all to show you the limit on just how dressy you should get with a heavy tweed or herringbone blazer. Anything dressier than this doesn't work for this type of jacket. Now as you can see here, we have a nice brown herringbone blazer. And I like to call this my herringbone on top of herringbone look with my favorite light gray herringbone trousers. And up top, getting a little bit of formalness with it with a nice navy tie and a crisp white dress shirt. Finishing the look off with some of my favorite dress boots. All in all, for a crisp, cold evening, I would throw this on to be well put together, but not too stuffy. Now for our second look today, we're turning the dressiness down just a little bit to show you just how well that heavy blazer can go with a pair of chinos. Now as you can see here, this time we switched out the brown blazer and thrown in this dark gray blazer. And I have it matched with one of my heavier pair of chinos, these stone chinos that I got from Dockers. Now when a colder weather hits, I like to wear shirts that are a little bit of a more sturdy, durable, and heavier material, like this great denim dress shirt I have on. Finish the look off with some of my favorite black tassel loafers, and we have a look that looks great for business casual, or perhaps a date on a cool fall night. Now for our third look today, we're switching back to the brown herringbone blazer to show you just how well a heavy blazer works in the fall as a layering piece. And of course, what else goes better when you're layering than a navy V-neck sweater? And of course, to make this the ultimate fall look, you wanna match it up with a nice pair of dark wash denim. And for the footwear, we have a pair of one of my favorite shoes, my dark brown double monk straps. And of course, like I always like to do when I'm wearing a V-neck sweater, give it a little contrast with this light blue button up. Put it all together, you have a nice, well put together look for those fall evenings. And for our fourth and final look today, we're switching back to the dark gray blazer to show you just how well a heavy blazer can dress up your favorite pair of jeans in the fall. If you've seen my video on Oxblood shoes, you probably recognize this look. As you can see here, we have the dark gray blazer matched up with a pair of medium wash slim fit jeans. For the shoes, we have my good old burgundy tassel loafers. And for a little bit of layering underneath the jacket, we have a black crew neck sweater. And of course, for a little contrast between the black and the white, we have a crisp white dress shirt. Put it all together, this is a great business casual look or 
for kicking around on the weekend during those fall crisp days. Okay, so there you have it. My guide on how to style that tweed or herringbone blazer. Let me know in the comment section how you rock your heavy blazer. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. It helps the channel to grow. And of course, tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos released every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll meet you here tomorrow.